This is Margarita Arvidsson. She's from Gothen Gothenburg. Yeah. Gothenburg. She's a fashion and photographer's model. Hobby is horseback riding. In fact, it says here when you were a little girl, you wanted to be a bareback rider in a circus. Yes, and I still want it. That would be fun, you think, huh? She, uh, her sister sent her picture into the pageant. And where were you when you found out that you were entered in for the Miss Sweden title? I was uh, between Canada and uh, Holland, on the ocean. On a boat? Yes. Your father's a fisherman. <laughs> oh, no? he's a sea captain. A sea captain, yes. and you were on the boat with him. Okay, congratulations, Miss Sweden. And Miss Sweden, Margarita Arvidsson, the young lady who won the Miss Photogenic crown, and now, of course, wants to wear the Miss Universe crown, and the young lady who had to come from the middle of the Atlantic to win. You had four days, didn't you, to get there by boat. Okay, Miss Sweden. Well, now that you've met tonight's judges, I'd like you to meet the young lady who was chosen by last year's judges as Miss Universe of 1967. Sylvia Hitchcock of the United States of America. <laughs> Sylvia, <laughs> let's look at some of these um, pictures that you have brought of the exciting things that you did during the past year. Now, where was this picture taken? Well, this one was taken in Timland in Bangkok. And here, I, I just, in order to get on the elephant, I had to climb up these steps and actually get aboard. <laughs> oh, it's my. like being on a ship, you know, to ride on this elephant. <laughs> really? Well, now, what's happening with all these children? Well, this was taken in Rio de Janeiro at the Copacabana Palace, and we're outside for the September fashion show. And uh, these little children are giving me some flowers of their appreciation. And this one? And this one here uh, was in a geisha restaurant in Japan, and the geisha lady is putting on a turban, which I think is similar to what they wear in their ice patty. Oh, I see. Well, now, in this picture, you're back in our country, back in the United States. You must be very proud of this one. Yes, I sure am. This is what I think. It was taken uh, with President Johnson in his office in the White House, and meeting the president was surely one of my highlights of the year. Oh, yes, I'm sure it was. Well, it sounds like an unforgettable year, and you've really been a most gracious and a very popular Miss Universe. So we want to wish you all the best of luck, Sylvia. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Miss Brazil is Martha Vasconcelos, and you're a first grade teacher, too. Yeah. Well, you heard what Miss Curacao does to yes. correct her children. How, what do you do with your naughty children? Well, when they don't want to be silent at the, the time I want, then they stayed when the, everybody goes away, they stay to be silent. Well, you're good. You're lucky that they're first graders, so they might be happy to stay with you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Brazil. Right out here you go. You please step down here first, Miss Brazil. Miss Brazil, right down here. Right over in the center. That's the girl. Do you speak English? A little bit. You speak a little? Yeah. All right. I just want you to chat with me for a moment so that our judges may look at you. And would you please tell me about something that would, well, about your hometown. Just tell me about your hometown. I can't speak. <laughs> this is an exciting moment, isn't it? Yes. Had you hoped that you might be among these five finalists? Well, you have tears in your eyes, but those are tears of happiness, aren't they? Yes. This, this is a very exciting evening. All week long has been building to this, and here you are. All right, Miss Brazil, you just step right back up here. You cry very prettily for the judge. Miss Philippines is Gloria Diaz. She's a student taking a business course. And she has two brothers and nine sisters. My, that's a big family. Yes, it is. Is it fun uh, having so many brothers and sisters? It really doesn't make a difference. I mean, it's just like a small family, I think. Uh, how can it be like a small family when there's so many of you? Well, everybody goes on their own way. They just come back during lunch, dinner, uh, and breakfast. You're just there at mealtime? Yeah. I'll tell you what, Gloria. Our interview is planned. Here you are on television with this big audience. Let's see, can you name your nine brothers and oh, two yes. sisters, or nine sisters and two brothers? Alphabetically or um, according to rank? I think all mixed up. Go ahead. Um, Joselito, Fenty, Ramon, Ruby, Patsy, Coroy, Gori, George, uh, Aurora, Didi, Georgie, Benji, Rio. Very good, but when you get home, apologize to Aurora, won't you? You missed that one for a moment. Thank you, Miss Philippines. Miss Philippines, in the next day or so, a man will land on the moon. If a man from the moon landed in your hometown, what would you do to entertain him? Oh, oh, it's the same thing I do. I think if you've been in the moon for so long, 
Miss Puerto Rico speaks English, and your name is? Marisol Malares. And what is your job? I'm an executive secretary in Amado. Uh-huh. And uh, what would uh, you like to do? I understand that you hope to be married, is that Oh, right? yes, sir. How old do you think you should be to be married? I don't know. I'm just waiting for it. I know. I don't think that when love comes, that will be perfect. No special age at all. And you think it can happen any time? Yes, sir. You just go right out there. There may be a man near that ramp out there someplace. There you go, Miss Puerto Rico. The judges are here. And Miss Puerto Rico, your question is, please, you won't be able to hear the question, audience. The question is, why do you want to be Miss Universe? Oh, I would love to be Miss Universe for the first reason, because I will get to travel the whole universe. And for me, getting to know every human being in this earth will be the most unperfect thing in the whole world. Thank you, Miss Puerto Rico. Now, Miss Lebanon here is Georgina Risk. She's a model in Beirut. Yes. And you enjoy your job as a model? Yes, very much. I was modeling since uh, four years. I began at uh, 14 years and a half. Mm -hmm. And of course, smiling is an important part of being a model. Yes, of course. You've had to smile so much this week, Georgina. What's your secret? How do you smile and keep smiling and keep smiling? Oh, because I'm happy, you know, so I'm smiling all the time. And it's no problem for you. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> well, you should be very happy now among our 12 semi-finalists. Thank you, Miss Lebanon. Now, you speak English? Yes, I do. The judges are here, and your question is, if you had a friend who was going to enter the Miss Universe contest, what advice would you give her? Oh, I, um, I would, um, uh, wait, I don't know how to say in English. Je lui conseillerais de se présenter à ce concours. C'est une expérience, uh, c'est une très grande expérience dans la vie. Et, uh, même si elle n'a pas peut-être la chance euh, de gagner, c'est quand même euh, une assez grande expérience et on s'amuse beaucoup. Et... Well, she may not know English that well, but she has a lot of advice. Now, a translator will tell us what she said. Well, she said that it would be a great experience to enter a contest. Even though you do not win, it is still lots of fun and a great experience. Thank you, Miss Lebanon. All right, Miss Australia is Carrie Welch. She's from Perth. She's 20 years old. And what sort of questions, uh, Carrie, have you been asked uh, here about Australia? Mostly about the climate, Bob. But one question I found was really strange. Some of the girls actually asked me if I spoke English. Listen, I'm reaching that stage myself, <laughs> I'll tell you. You are a weather bird, you said in your questionnaire. I assume that has to do with weather forecasting on television? Yes, I was given a synopsis. I didn't actually forecast the weather. And then I had to put it in my own words to tell the people at home what they could expect to wear tomorrow. And I'll bet there are more men in Perth who know the weather every day than any place else in the world with a weather bird like you. Thank you, Miss Australia. You. Now, Miss Australia, the question for the judges, if you could change and become any other person in the world, who would you want to become and why? I'm uh, not a particular person, but I'd like to become someone who could dictate peace throughout the world and try and uh, put people in the right direction. Thank you, Miss Australia. Miss Philippines does know English, and uh, your name is? Margarita Moran. And what would you like to do, Margarita? Later? Yes, as a job. Uh, I'd like to be a banker. A banker? Why a banker? Well, uh, first, I'd like to follow my father's footsteps because he's a banker. And uh, besides that, I'm taking up a course in business administration, which is courses in uh, banking and finance. And I like counting money. You like counting money? What would you do with the $10,000 if you win in the Miss Universe bank? Uh, I'd invest it. Um, probably I'll build up a hotel. A hotel? Yes, and I'll run the business and my sister will manage it because she's taking up business of, uh, hotel management in school. You know, I think I've made a discovery. This girl could be the Onassis of the Philippines before she's through. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Yes. Now, Miss Philippines, this is the remaining question. This question is for you. Your question is, let's make believe that all of a sudden 
This is a perfect question for her. Let's make believe that all of a sudden you had a million dollars. What's the first thing you would buy and why would you buy it? A house and lot. Because it's the most expensive thing and I can't afford it. So if I have a million bucks, I'll buy a house and lot and live by myself <laughs> and other people, of course. Thank you very much, Miss Philippines. Now, Miss Payne. Miss Payne is Amparo Munoz Quesada. She's an interior designer for offices and hotels. Mm. You speak English? No. None? No, poquito, poquito. Poquito. No, nada. <laughs> Su padre es un boxeador? Sí, exactamente. Her father is a uh, fighter, a boxer, and I think that's very interesting, and I'm going to try to get her to... <laughs> well, I think it's something you boys should find out about this one, if her father is a boxer. But what weight? Kick? Peso? Mm. Uh, su su no, era peso ligero. Es peso muy... ligero. Sí. It's a lightweight. Light, lightweight. Mm. In, um, uh, ¿Le gusta a usted boxeador? Oh, me encanta. Me gusta muchísimo. She's charmed by prize fighters. Yes. Uh, sus pero no, para, pero no para, para practicarlo, por supuesto, sino para ver. Sure, I'm, I know, whatever you said is just exactly... <laughs> If I have to speak English slowly, you speak Spanish slowly, too, okay? <laughs> just nod your head. Oh. Yes, that's right. <laughs> sus uh, favoritos en boxeadores. Bueno, es que en realidad solamente conozco a los españoles, que es Legrat, José Carrasco, que lo conozco personalmente, entonces me gustan muchos que son españoles. She forgot again, didn't she? Thank you, Miss Spain. You're Thank very you. charming. Miss I would like to have you tell Miss Spain that her question is, if you become Miss Universe, how do you think being an international celebrity will change you? Si llegas a ser Miss Universo, ¿Qué crees que... Ah, cre, ¿Cómo vas a cambiar? ¿Cómo va a ser una celebridad internacional? ¿Te va a cambiar? ¿Cómo va a ser el cambio para ti? Pues creo que personalmente no cambiaré nada en mis sentimientos y mi amor hacia los demás, etc. Cambiará mi vida, mi actividad, porque así lo manda que el título, por supuesto. Pero a sí misma no cambiaré. Creo que, que no cambiará. Mis sentimientos, quiero decir. Gracias. No. Now, would you tell us what her she said? Her sentiments will not change. She'll continue to love her fellow men. She, she's sure to change in some way, but her basic sentiments will not change towards others, other people. Thank you very much. Thank you, Miss Spain. 19 years old. She's a model, and she speaks English, don't you? Yes, I do. And it must be exciting to be here, one of the semi-finalists in the Miss Universe pageant in El Salvador. Oh, yes. Very exciting. And far different from Finland, isn't it? How do, you, how do the two uh, differ? Tell me about it. Well, um, I think there are, are more lakes in Finland, but, and uh, the climate is colder, of course. <laughs> yeah. And this is your first visit here, to Central yes, America. Yes, yes. What are your plans for the future? Um, after I, I will crown my, after crowning my, um, the next Miss Finland, I'd like to start studying in a business school um, and get a boutique of my own. I'd like to design clothes and sell them and I'm so on. I'm sure you'll do well. One last question. Now, you were with a group that went to the baseball game in New York City. That must have been very exciting, was it? Oh, yes. <laughs> it was. Uh, although I, I didn't understand very much of the game, our, our baseball is different in Finland. We have different rules. And so... <laughs> I ate hot dogs and watched the airplanes taking off from the nearby. She did enjoy the baseball game, you see. Thank you, Miss Finland. Thank you. Miss Columbia, Miss Finland. Obviously, the last question is yours. Miss Finland, if you were a judge tonight instead of a finalist, what are the most important qualities you would look for in choosing the next Miss Universe? Um, I think I would see, I would have seen the most important qualities uh, when talking to the girl. The personality, of course, is very, very important, and uh, the way she, ha um, the personality and outlook fit together. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Finland.